I'm Josh from NRS, and today we're going to talk about how to properly inflate your raft. First thing you want to do is unroll the boat, make sure it's completely flat. Leaving folds in the boat could cause the boat to jump into shape, potentially causing damage. The first chamber you'll want to inflate is the floor. Typically you don't have to worry about the amount of pressure you put into the floor because there is a pressure relief valve set to release the excess amount of pressure. In NRS rafts this is set at 2.5 psi and is the recommended max amount of pressure in an NRS raft. Next, inflate the tubes one at a time to about a pound, pound and a half around the entire boat rotating from tube to tube until you get the entire boat up to shape. It's important to slowly add pressure to each chamber. Adding too much pressure to one chamber could cause the baffle or the wall between the chambers to blow, in which case it's a very expensive problem to fix. Once the tubes are at one and a half PSI, you'll slowly want to add pressure to each chamber, adding a few pumps to each one rotating around the boat till you reach the full two and a half PSI. We highly suggest you use a pressure gauge to make sure you're at the right pressure. Overinflation can permanently damage your boat. When deflating, just as inflating, you want to make sure to let the air out evenly. This will decrease the amount of stress on the boat and can increase its overall life. If you have any other questions about the proper care and maintenance of your raft, please give us a call or check out the video and newsletter resources on our website at nrsweb.com.